Today, we're talking about how to generate real estate leads using ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's get into it. ChatGPT itself cannot generate real estate leads for you. However, you can use it to generate real estate leads, and that's what we're gonna be diving into. And not just in the way that it can give you ideas, right? Because it just gave us a bunch of ideas right here, but we already know how to generate leads. We're just looking for a way to automate. So in order to use ChatGPT to actually automate our lead generation and generate real leads from local people in your area, I sound like one of those dating ads. I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a post that is going to attract people in your area to your website and help you generate high quality search-based leads who are looking for information on the neighborhoods, on the cities, on real estate in general around your area. This is how you make a real estate website with WordPress that can rank for local neighborhood content. The whole point of this is to generate leads on autopilot while you're out doing other things. Because with prospecting, if you're cold calling and calling expires, all that stuff, that's only working when you are. But local content, that stuff is out there. That stuff is working all the time. So if you're setting that up the right way, you can generate real estate leads basically on autopilot. So let me walk you through how this works. Now, because I have this set up as a complete template, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in here, we're gonna hit add new post. I'm gonna type in the name of the city that we're gonna be using. Sticking to the Allegan theme, why not? Let's use Allegan, Michigan. Then I'm gonna hit save as draft and I'm gonna go edit with Elementor. Now for anybody who's not familiar, this is all built using the an agent near me system. If you have questions about that, there'll be a link down below in the description. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to my templates, we're gonna pick up the neighborhood template. All right, I've just selected the neighborhood template. It's gonna give me the Riverstone Ridge neighborhood template. Now, because we're doing Allegan, Michigan, we're just gonna go up here, we're gonna click that right over here. Something like this. And then we're gonna use chat GPT to actually write all of our content. And for the sake of doing this video, I'm not actually gonna worry about the pictures right now. Normally, I would say you go out to the neighborhoods that you wanna do this for and just take a bunch of pictures of a bunch of neighborhoods on the same day. So you do it once, it's done. You can get the next 10, 15 pages out there and it's not a big deal. Now for anybody who is not inside of the Agent Near Me program, basically we give you all the prompts so you know what to put into chat GPT and get it to spit out great information for the area. And as we put the third one in here, it continues to write and give us some great content to start with. Got our fourth prompt going in, giving us some more information. Now, this one is about real estate market statistics, so I typically recommend using the MLS to either verify these or grab your own stats that match what's inside of the article already. Copy and paste the next one. Then we're gonna have it kind of wrap things up. There we go. So now we've got all of our content here for the entire article. So you can see it gives us everything we need for the intro, a quick little statement. It gives us some information on where it's at the community, what it's like to live there. And all I've got to do now is go through here, grab all this information, plug it into the little boxes right here, and we're ready to go. I'm not going to do that all right now because that would be kind of boring for everybody to just watch me go through and copy and paste into the actual site itself. But you can see it's a really simple format. And we've got simple forms right here. So if anybody's interested in buying or selling in the location, they can reach out to you. You just go through and change the location from Riverstone Ridge to Allegon, Michigan. So it's really simple. You can even have it write your meta tags. You can have it write everything you need to get this live and start ranking for local neighborhoods, local cities, villages, towns in your area. And again, when we say ranking, we're talking about getting it to show up at the top of Google. Now, if you want to make it even better, which I highly recommend you do, you need to go through and make it your own. Only takes about five, 10 minutes. It's not a big deal. The other way that you can do that is using an app like Hemingway, which is gonna give you the reading level, the readability, 
So if I copy and paste that entire first piece of the article, 12th grade reading level, but that's why we toss it into something like Hemingway. Obviously you need to check it for anything that is gonna go against fair housing. We don't know what the chatbot's always gonna spit out, but the point is, if you can go from writing one article on a neighborhood in 90 minutes to writing one article on a neighborhood in 15 minutes, that is huge. That's gonna allow you to increase your content output and have your website showing up for more locations so much faster than if you were to try and do this all on your own and write everything from scratch. So we can go through here, we can make edits, we can do whatever we wanna do. If you say, no, I just wanna take what ChatGPT has given me and put it out there, just save the time. You can also do that. I don't recommend it because again, Google doesn't want a bunch of AI content out there. I mean, that is what ChatGPT is. So it's key to go through this and make it your own. At the very least, while Google's still figuring out how to read what's AI created content and normal created content, you should 100% run it through something like Grammarly where you're checking for plagiarism because it's very easy for this thing to pull some context from another article and now you have plagiarism on your site. The other option that you have is running it through Jasper. So you get something like ChatGPT to create the content and then you get something like Jasper to optimize the content. I'll put a link down below for that as well. Jasper runs like 30 or $40, I think, at their starting price. Jasper seems to be like the top tier of like rewriting. It's kind of made for this stuff. And again, it's not something you need. It's just if you wanted to do it that way instead of doing it by hand, uh, that's a great option. And again, for anybody who's a part of an agent near me, then you already have all the prompts. You already have the templates for how to do these. Just follow the PDF, follow the prompts. And if you have questions, jump on one of the coaching calls we do every single week. I hope this has been helpful. If you have more questions, go ahead and drop those down below in the comments or shoot me an email, matt at mattkramer.com. Thanks so much to everybody who stuck around and watched and have a great day.